let the arms hang lightly beside us and lift the chest. Feel that we're standing into our own true height. Take a deep breath in and then out. So notice the ribs move wide around us, find a lateral breath so that we can still remain aware of drawing in through the centre. So feel the belly button come in, away from the waistband of the trouser, gently hollowing. We stand within the natural curves of the spine, so try not to lean forward or back and recognise the curves of your spine with the hips facing forward. So let's take a gentle sway side to side. And be aware that the shoulders stay above the hips, so we try not to lean. Good. And then go forwards and back. So gently rock towards your toes and then back towards your heels without lifting. So it's almost like we're just tipping through the ankles. Then here, settle into four corners of your feet, spread out the toes. Take a deep breath in. And then just lift off your heels, come onto the balls of your feet. And then bring your heels down and peel each toe off the floor towards the outside of each foot. Then the little toe comes down all the way through to the big and we lift up again. Good. We'll do a couple more of those just to move through the feet, wake up through the feet. <laughs> allowing the toes just to open out, fanning out. Then this time, lift up through the heels and we come into our foot pedals. So let one heel lower as the other knee bends and then change sides. When the heel lands, squeeze the bottom, keeping the hips stacked, level and stable so they're in line with each other. Feel that we're just going up and down, not side to side, just up and down. And we'll just do one more through each foot. And then here, placing the heels down, bring your hands to the hips. Squeeze the right buttock and lift your left leg up and down. Stay with that leg. So continue to tighten up the standing leg. Squeeze the right buttock and make sure we continue and also to draw the belly button in. Good. So we'll do one more here. And then this time, squeeze the left buttock and lift up the right leg. And then we walk spine the curves. So take your time. Maybe the balance is different from one side to the other. Careful not to lean back. Just do a couple more. Pushing the heel into the floor as you stand. Good. And then here with the feet hip width, lift up both heels and both arms. And continue to look forward as you just circle one arm and then the other. One more each arm. Maintaining that core connection, drawing in through the belly. And then bring both arms and the heels down, broad shoulders, and then we'll do that again. So we lift on up, circling one arm at a time. Continuing with that belly button drawing in, Squeeze the bottom to help you balance here with the heels lifted. Just moving through the range of movement of your shoulder. And then allow the arms and the heels to lower, broad shoulders. Good, coming into a side bend. And then at the center, just bring both arms in front and open both arms. Open the chest, bringing them back in and down. So right side bend, or just go to the other side. Good, arms float. We open, find a little squeeze in the upper back as the arms get wider. Good. 
and then again into your left side. So one more time, come into the side bend, draw the shoulders down as the arms float, open the chest here, and then come down, again roll the shoulders, and then this time squeeze the right buttock and lift your left arm and leg, keep your balance and circle the arm four times. Now, if you prefer to have the toes down and just lift the heel, that's okay. Keep the belly button towards you so your body weight is centered and step down to the other side. So lift up, heel or the whole foot. Hold your balance steady. Circle the arm four times. Hmm. So one more each side. Really squeeze the bum cheek on the standing leg. Lift the chest. Careful not to lean back. Good. One more here. Squeeze in the bottom. Lift the arm and the leg. And just move with mobilization in that shoulder. Let's take a step forward and come down to kneeling on the mat. Then here we're going to take your left leg out to the side and square off through the hips. So try and feel like your hip bones are facing forward. You may get a little stretch on the inside leg. So we're going to slide down the leg, little side bend, and then come back through. And if you can, put the hand on the floor. If you need something on the floor to put your hand on so you don't go so low, that, oh, that's okay. <laughs> and then take that leg forward and back twice. I think it's more like you like sitting in the sun and the sun's shining on that bit of floor. <laughs> Putting the foot down and come up to repeat that. So popping the hand down, take your time, lift the leg. And come into our kneeling side kick, just two of them though. And then come on up, we'll do two more of those. So we get this lateral flexion of the spine, keep the chest lifted. Come down, let the leg lengthen out, and then take it forward and back. We're just going to come up and prepare for the other side. So take your time, find your place, taking the other leg out to the side. <laughs> He's not moving, is he? And then square off your hips. You may find a stretch on the inside leg, that's all good. And we slide down the straight leg, come back through, hand down. Remember, if it feels like a long way down, you can put something on the floor, block, pillow, book. Whatever you want to put the hand on. And put that foot down. And then come across. So we're just moving that leg from the hip, forward and back twice. Getting that gentle range of movement as we do a couple more. So one more here. And then coming back up. Good. So from here, come into all fours. <laughs> Work out where to go now, I'm on the couch. And 
just come into some cat stretches here, quite apt. Tuck the tail and arch your back up, tuck your chin and look back towards the legs. Then take the tail out, lengthen your spine, draw the shoulders back. With the belly button drawing in, just feel that you're rounding up and mobilizing the spine. And then sit back, lengthening out the spine, taking the tail out. So just a couple more. And then when you're ready, we can take it a little bit wider in the knees and sit back into the heels, taking the arms forward. Make a nice little release there through the back. And then we're going to come up to a lie on our back with your knees bent and your feet hip width apart. So here, <laughs> lying on your back, heels in line with the sit bones. <laughs> He's trying to push me out of the way now. And oh, go, just lie still. This is fit already, your belly button draw in towards your spine, clearly I'm in his way. Good. Okay, let's come into some power victories. He's had enough already. <laughs> Settling into the centre, notice the natural curves of your spine and then from here lift up one arm and leg from the same side of the body, so the hand and the knee from the same side of the body and then extend the arm and leg away. Keep the belly button towards you, hollowing gently, come back through and then down. So changing sides, breathing out to lift, breathing in to hold breathing out to extend, come back through, and then down. So soften through the ribs, feel the belly button draw in, hollowing gently, and keep your lower back still, just creating this little connection here through the torso. So we'll just do three more here, keeping your bottom glued to the mat. And just look to finish with the opposite side to where you started. And then we'll bring the knees to the chest, hugging the knees in. And as we do that, just circle your knees away and around away from each other and circling around. That's it. Then bringing one knee to the chest, straighten the other leg. And let's curl up towards the bent knee as you draw the ribs down, the belly button in, and just keep changing legs. Coming into single leg stretch, we notice the lower abdomen as the leg goes long and low. Good. So just continue to breathe easily, evenly with each movement. And we're just going to do three more each side. If you prefer to put the head back down, please do. And then lengthen the legs and take a big long stretch. Open up through the whole body. Good. And here, we're going to roll over onto your side and squeeze into the waist. So lying on your side to face the screen, or just in the space that you have. And stacking up your legs, your hips, have the hand down the outer thigh. Feel the belly button draw in, notice the waist come in, and let's breathe out and slide down the top leg as you squeeze into the waist on that top side of your body and gently down. Please maybe glue the legs together if you can and lengthen both legs but if it's wobbly top leg is still good. 
Good, so we're looking to squeeze into the waist here. But then, when we come back down, let's lift the arm and open the side body and lengthen more. Then we can put the hand down beside us and go again. So we're not going to start again until the hand is down beside us on the outer thigh. Good. So letting that arm float over. Keep the belly button towards the spine. Feel the bottom rib draw down towards the hip. Get that squeeze in the waist there. Notice the length in the side of the body as we open the arm overhead, but then here the length is down out from the hip to the heel, down the legs. We'll do three more. Feeling that squeeze right in the waist there. Hip bones are still facing forward. And then from here, just bend the knees in front of you. And if it's close by, bring a pillow or something under your head to support your head, because now we're gonna open up the side of the waist we were just squeezing into. So with the arms in front, one hand directly on top of the other, turn the waist, open the arm, turn your head, look at your thumb, and then come back down. This is where Nico is chasing the reflection of my watch on the wall. <laughs> so feel that turn from the middle of the body. Maybe an opening of the chest on that side as well. As the legs, the hips remain stable and still. Turn your head to look at your thumb. That's it, so we don't want the head to get left behind. So as we mobilise the upper back, we feel the shoulder blade drawing towards the spine behind us. We'll do two more. can just allow the arm to settle. So from here, come up onto the forearm, the elbow is under the shoulder, so we're now switching it to the underside of the waist. This elbow under the shoulder, we want to be careful it doesn't turn out here, protect the neck and the shoulder, and we're going to lift the hips and the arm, and then come back down. So the hips are stacked, one on top of the other. We're using the underside of the body, the waist underneath us, to lift us up. So do feel that we are drawing up from the floor. Try not to push down into the elbow and shoulder. Try to get a sensation of drawing up from underneath. Good. So we'll just do a couple more. And then again. Excellent. Come up to seated. Now roll the shoulder of the arm that you were just on. And then take a side bend stretch, reach across. And then go the other way. And then we can prepare for the other side. So lying down again on your side, but now with your head at the other end of the mat. Remember we started with our head in the arm, <laughs> straight legs, sliding down to squeeze the top part of the waist, then we open and then we lift. So long legs, lengthen up top level both and slide down. Just like we did on the other side. Good, we can take the arm over, create more length, and then put the hand down beside us again. Ready to slide. Slide. 
slide down the outer thigh. Maybe there's a little bit of space here from underneath from the rib cage to the armpit. Keeping the hips stacked one on top of the other. Notice the bottom rib draw down towards the hip. Drawing us in nicely. Relax the shoulders if you can. Look forward. So try not to look down. Look straight ahead to keep the length from the spine into the neck. I'll do a couple more. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Maintain that core connection all the way through. Good. So when you're ready, let's bend the knees, give the outer thigh a little tap if it needs it, it might not. And we come onto the pillow. Head at the front of the pillow. <laughs> Arms in front. Shoulders are stacked. Make sure your hands are meeting evenly. Shoulders above the hips, turn the waist, open the top arm, turn your head, look back at your thumb. And then come back down, press your hands together, draw the shoulders back, stabilize them before going again. So let it come from the middle of your body, starts in the center. Nice here, opening, sideline open door. Breathing out to open, breathing in to hold, look at your thumb, breathing out to come down. Keeping the hips facing forwards all the time. Just a couple more. Notice the shoulder blade of that top arm is drawing in, mobilizing the upper back. One more. Good. So, from here, come on up onto the forearm. Elbow under the shoulder. So do make sure this elbow is at a right angle underneath your shoulder. We don't want it to draw out. We draw up from underneath and breathe out to lift the hips. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, release. Good, so feel the underside, remember, the underside of your body is lifting you up. The hip bones are facing forward, they're stacked. Just a few more. Keeping the ears away from the shoulders, careful not to drop your head. And we just do two more here. Maintaining that abdominal drawing in. And release. Let's take a seat. So the arm that you was on, just roll that arm around, circle it round, loosen it up. Good. And then take a little side bend reach, open up through the side of the waist. And then the other side. Then from here, come to lie on your back. Just thinking my end, I should have my head nearer him. That's probably good for my legs. So here, feet hip width, hands lightly beside your head. Keep the belly button towards the spine. And we're gonna turn towards the opposite knee that lifts. Then come back down, take the foot down. So single leg first. Breathe out as you go across. Breathe in, hold, oh, I forgot about my hair, <laughs> and then release. So turn towards the opposite knee that lifts, keep the elbows back. Now if you wish, we can have both feet off the floor, coming into tabletop, or stay single leg. And then we can still go towards the opposite knee, Feel like you're taking the bottom rib towards the opposite hip. Maintaining that core connection, 
and we can always extend the other leg if you wish. Continuing to hollow between the hips. Breathing out as you go across. Breathing in to hold. Breathing out to release. So we just do one more on each side, taking your time. Try and finish with the opposite side to where you started. And then from here, place one foot down and then the other with the arms wide. Allow the knees to roll side to side. And then when your legs come back to the center, let's come into tabletop, lifting up one leg, keep the belly button drawing in, and then the other. Good. Now, from here, with the arms closer to the side of your body, we're going to extend one leg, and then the other. So we just practice here first, keeping the lower back towards the floor, keeping the lower back still, so you don't have to take the leg too low. Now, the next time we extend the leg, let's take both arms back and circle them around. So as the leg extends, you're taking the arms back to circle and then the hands are back to the floor as the knee comes back in. Take your time, breathing out as you extend away from the body. Breathing in as they come back in. Noticing a little deeper connection there through the torso. We're going to do one more on each side. Again, finishing with the opposite leg to where you started and hug the knees to the chest. Gently walk side to side. Then here, putting the feet back on the floor, arms out to the side. This time we'll come into tabletop and take the legs side to side, but please, if you'd rather have your feet on the floor for any reason, do that. So just let the knees go side to side, noticing the waist, coming around you at the same time. Keeping the belly button towards the spine. Good. Letting the upper body just anchor you to the floor. So the shoulders are staying on the floor. Palms facing up. And we just do a couple more each side from here. Taking your time. One more each side. And then bringing the knees to the chest, and this time circle your knees away and around. So they're circling away from each other. One more time and popping the feet down. So here, let's roll over onto your front. We may need a pillow or block or something under your forehead. <laughs> and let's take both arms along the floor above your head, turn the palms in, draw the shoulders back, and just feel the hips are level with the mat. So we're gonna start opposite arm and leg and build up there into our swimming. So lengthen out, opposite ends, keeping your body weight centered, and then down. Now maintain that core connection. We want to feel like we are drawing the belly button off the floor back into our body. So breathe out as you lengthen, breathe in, hold, breathe out, release. Opposite arm and leg. Now, from here, we could then switch it 
to one leg and both arms. But make sure you're drawing your shoulder blades down your back. We don't want the shoulders to shrug. So breathe out as both arms float and one leg lengthens out. And as we go through these options, if you'd rather stay or go back to a previous option, please do. So we're moving forward so long as we're keeping our hips in a neutral level position on the mat. We're maintaining the belly button to the spine. You're aware of the squeeze in the bottom and the shoulders are staying away from the ears. They're drawing back and down. Now, next time, can we do both arms and both legs at the same time? Good. So breathing out as both arms and both legs float off the floor. Breathe in, hold. Breathe out, release. Remember, you do have the previous options. Sometimes the weight of both arms and both legs moving together can make it quite a challenge to maintain that abdominal connection. So keep the belly button in as much as you can. Now, if you have got both arms and both legs floating off the floor, what you could do is hold them off the floor and then come into swimming arms and legs where the opposite ends are touching down. So little finger, big toe, tapping down alternately opposite ends. And as you do that, swimming arms and legs, you still want to remain centered. So avoid any sideways movement, down and up with a little finger, big toe. The bum is squeezed, the belly button's drawn in, the shoulders are back. So wherever you are, let's continue if we can for four more breaths, but please rest if you prefer. And then settle when you're ready. Just wiggling through the hips to loosen up. And then from here, remaining on our front, bring both arms beside you and bring the big toes in towards each other. So we're gonna focus on the upper back, so relax the legs. Heels fall away, this relaxes for the lower back, the bum and the legs, avoid squeezing down there. Instead, focus on the upper back. So we turn the palms in, allow the upper body to float off the mat, look down, squeeze the upper back and gently lower. Come into our breaststroke dot. So breathing out, turn the palms in to squeeze the upper back and float up. Breathing in to hold and then breathing out to release. Continue with the tummy inwards and notice that space between the shoulder blades. So we can stay with this or we can hold it there and as we hold it there, can you pulse the arms four times? Four, three, two, one, and release down. So that arm slow pulse is an option. Take your time. And as you pulse the palms up and down, find that extra little squeeze in the shoulder blade, in between the shoulder blades. Let's do like two more, but of course you can rest before or instead if you prefer. Gently settle down when you're ready. And we can push up onto the knees, back into the heels, just stretch your knees to the back. You go wider in the knees, gives us a bit more space to bring the chest down. And then coming into all fours, with the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips, make sure there's a gap between both knees. Let's bring your back arm through to look to the, to the side and hold it there. And then draw that arm out to lift it up, but please keep your legs and your hips still. So this movement is through the upper back, not the lower back. So again, we mobilize the upper back, which is a nice release after that shoulder squeeze. 
turning your waist and lifting up the arm, looking up. Good. And then again. So one more time, bending the elbow to lower you, good, and then sit back into the heels, take the arms forwards, chest down, and then take both arms around to your left, so you can cross the right hand over the left. You may find a bit more of a stretch in the right side of the back. Slowly go the other way, taking the left hand over the right. Then here, come to lie on your front again for our swan dive. So you may want the pillow or something there under your forehead. And this time, take the arms out to the edge of the mat in a surrender position. So the elbows are just a bit lower than the shoulders, the hands are quite wide, the shoulders are drawn back. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, lengthen up via the breastbone through to the crown of the head. We can keep a small range for the forearms down if you wish, or go a bit further if you can. So try and feel that you're drawing your shoulder blades down your back as the belly button draws in. Squeeze the bottom so we can support the back while we work it. So our focus here is the lower back. Maybe we come a little bit further as in the arms get longer and the elbows draw in. Slightly more range of movement. But please try not to force anything with your range of movement. Now, the next time we lower down, keeping the bottom squeezed, can you take both legs out behind you? And then the legs come down, and then the chest floats up. So take it slowly, it's a gentle rocking through the hips. As we go from one end of the body to the other. So avoid pushing down, instead feel like you are lengthening up, lengthening up from the upper body, keeping the bum squeezed the whole time. So let's try maybe two or three more, but of course, if you'd rather rest before or instead, please feel free just to relax where you are. Keeping the chin tucked in, Eyes looking down. And then once completed, once again, let's come up onto the knees, back into the heels, or just relax on your front, whatever's more comfortable for you right now. So from here, let's now roll over onto your back. We're going to come into some bridges. So after that extension of the spine, it's good to come into some flexion of the spine and a bit of mobility. Here with your heels in line with your sit bones, have your arms lengthened down beside you. And settle into a neutral space. Continue with the belly button drawing in and with the knees in line with the toes, Peel your spine off the floor and lift your hips up. So high in the hips as you squeeze your bottom to hold you up. Now up here, lift up both heels twice. So we breathe out, lift the heels, breathe in, hold, breathe out, lower, stay in bridge, do that again. Then very gently bring the body down, melting into the mat. The bottom comes down last. So here, tilting the pelvis, squeezing the bottom, easing up through each segment of the spine. 
coming up with high hips, so from the side, shoulders, hips, knees are in line. We lift the heels up and down twice. Keep squeezing the bottom, feel you're using those bum muscles to hold you up. Gently lower. So this time we can do that or we can add when the heels lift, lift up your arms, your hands at the same time. So heels and hands, hands above the shoulders, you should see them. Yeah, you should see your hands. Heels and hands lift twice and then down. So continuing with that core connection, belly button towards the spine. Squeezing your bottom to take you up and of course to hold you up. Now breathe out as you lift the heels and the hands, breathe in, breathe out, let them lower, take a breath in, breathe out, they lift again. Good. So continue with your breath, we don't want to hold our breath. Now next time, if you wish, instead of doing that twice, can you stay up there and do that four times? Let's see. Really focus on squeezing your bum cheeks together. Focus on that gluteal squeeze. Using these bum muscles to hold you up. And then gently coming down. So maybe we do one or two more of those. You choose, see what you think. Of course, you can rest before or instead, that's okay. Keep the bottom squeeze, continue to hollow between the hips. Breathe out, lift the heels and the hands. Good. The knees are staying in line with the toes. Becoming so much more aware of using these bum muscles as we go through it. So maybe you complete there or do one more set. See how you feel. Remember you can bring the knees to chest at any time. And then once completed, allowing the body to melt back into the mat and hug the knees in. As you hug the knees in, just gently walk in and out. So we'll give those legs a little release with the band. So take the band when you're ready and pop it around one foot. Well done. Holding the leg up. So if it's comfortable, straighten the other leg down the mat. Let the elbow rest on the floor, both elbows even, and relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, guide that top leg in towards you. Just a bit more, press the heel up. Notice the back of the leg. Now slowly, lower that leg down, and let it stop just above the mat. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, draw the leg in again. See if you can bring it in a bit further than where it was. Hold it at the top there. Accept that stretch. Try not to hold your breath. So with that leg lifted, let's now point and flex through the ankle. So point your toes towards the ceiling. You might find a stretch in the front of your foot. Then flex your foot at the ankle, and you may notice that shifts a little bit into the lower leg, the back. So we'll do that a few more times. We point, we flex, and then again, toes point. Then the sole of your foot looks at the ceiling. And one more. Then slowly just lower and leg that whole leg, pick it lower and lift that whole leg again. <laughs> Bringing it back up 
and a bit further in if you can. Driving that leg in as far as you can. Holding it there for three more breaths. And then we can change legs. So pop the other foot in the band. Let's work with this side. So guide that leg in. Relax the shoulders. And then slowly lower and lift that leg. Bringing that leg in just a bit further if you can. Holding it at the top there. Keeping the bottom on the floor. And then up here, let's point and flex. So toes towards the ceiling. And then flex at the ankles. Heel towards the ceiling. So we'll do that a few more times. And then find when you press the heel towards the ceiling, a little bit of a stretch increases into the back of the lower leg. A few more. So let the sole of your foot look up. And then below. And then here, one more time, just to lower and lift. Bringing that leg back in just a bit more. Good. Finding that stretch, keep the bottom on the floor. Just three more breaths here. And then we're going to release that foot from the band and come over into all fours. So here in all fours, with your hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips, we're going to combine opposite arm and leg and a little press up. If you rather just stay opposite arm and leg, that's fine, but just keep that going where you can. So draw up to the centre and breathe out to lengthen opposite arm and leg. Good, breathe in to hold, breathe out, release. So we can add in the press up or just change sides. With the press up, we're bending the elbows and taking the chest forward and down, and then lifting up through the back of the arms. Changing sides. So if there's concerns with the shoulders or the wrists, you don't want to do the press up, then just stay opposite arm and leg. Lowering into it. Elbows in and back, lifting through the back of the arms, keeping the shoulders back. So our body weight is centered. We've got that core connection fully switched on for core stability, upper body strength, and hip, shoulder, and core stability. Breathing out to lift up. Good. Just a couple more. Trying to finish with the opposite side to where you started. And then we sit back into the heels. Take the knees wider. Sit back and take the arms forward. Bring the chest down. Keep the knees wide so you have more space to bring the chest down. Then keeping the knees wide, bring your body weight slightly forward onto your forearms. You can hold a little three-quarter plank. So with your knees wide, it helps us to stabilize. Draw the shoulders back and we can stay here or allow one hand to tap out to the side and bring it back slowly and then the other. So if we are adding to tap the hand out to the side, our body should stay fixed, our torso is fixed, we don't want the body to move. So really feel the belly button draw up and into you. The waist coming around you to hold you in place. Of course you can just hold it still instead of moving the arm. So we just work with maybe four more breaths if you're holding it still, or take the arm out and in. A couple more times. 
Good. And then again, sit back into the heels. Arms reach forward, chest comes down. Then we'll come up to kneeling. And in a kneeling position, we'll start with the elbows, the elbows under the shoulders and the palms up, and we open the hands and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Then bring them back in. Keeping the hip bones facing forward, squeeze the bottom in this position just to help steady if you need to. Notice the space between the shoulder blades. And we're just going to do one more from here. And then we're going to add, taking the arms a little bit wider. So here we open our hands and then go wider, continuing to draw the shoulder blades in towards each other behind you. Good. And then again, breathing out to open, breathing in to hold, breathe out, go wider, keep the shoulders down. So two more. And then let the arms relax, roll the shoulders, and we're just going to make our way to our feet. So tuck the toes underneath, push your heels into the floor, and come into a standing forward fold. Let the head and the hands hang, chest towards your thighs, and notice the back of the legs. Maybe there's a little stretch. As you draw the tummy in, tuck the tail and slowly roll up. Please take your time. Gradually coming up through each part of the spine, easing your way up slowly. You start to lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, Lift the head and look forward, last of all. So here, as you stand tall, let the shoulders settle. And we're going to lift your left leg and both arms in front to shoulder height. And then step down. So we're going to work from here gradually, building. Other leg, lifts, arms float. Good. Two more like that. Keep the shoulders down, breathe out, lift it up, keep the belly button in, careful not to lean back. Good. Now, the next time we lift up the leg and the arms, hold it. And can you let the right arm draw back and turn the waist to look over the shoulder? Bring it through, do that again, same arm. Squeeze the standing leg. Good. Arms down, foot down, roll the shoulders, change sides. So lift up, squeeze the other bum cheek, tighten up the standing leg. Draw the left arm back, turn the waist, try and look back. If you prefer to have that foot closer to the floor, toes down, heel up, that's okay. And then come down. So we do a couple more of those. So lift the other leg, shoulders down. So if the left leg is lifted, it's the right arm that draws back or vice versa. Keep the hips forward. Remember, you don't have to lift the whole foot. You could just lift the heel and keep the toes down. Good. One more time. Keeping the hip bones facing forward. Draw one arm back twice. Bump cheek. Good. And then let the arms lower down, the foot comes down, and roll the shoulders. Come into a side bend to your left. And then lift both heels and both arms all the way up to circle. Side bend to your right. And then we lift the heels and the hands again. Open the arms. 
Now stay aware of the placement of the ribs here, especially when the arms get higher. Draw the ribs down, keep the belly button in throughout. One more. Soften through the ribs, belly button in. Good. Then take both arms in front, link the hands, tuck the chin and look down. Find a stretch across the upper back as if you're separating the shoulder blades. Look at the floor. And then bring both hands behind you and open the chest. Draw the shoulders back, lift the chest and bring the heels up again. Find the balls of the feet. As you balance, turn your head. Come back to centre. Turn your head the other way. Come back to centre. Bring the heels down. Bring the shoulders. And then with the arms relaxed, just let your right hand go to the other side of the head. Drop the head, look up and feel like you're pushing your head into your hand. The left shoulder lowers. A little stretch through the neck. Come back to centre. Change sides. Take the other hand over. Take your turn. Lower the head to one side. Look up, relax the right shoulder. Feel like you're pressing your head into your hand. Notice the neck. And then come back to centre slowly. Here, just tuck the chin, look to the feet or the floor. Maybe there's a stretch in the back of the neck. Slowly lift the head, lengthen your neck, look forward. Lift your shoulders and let them drop. One more time. Tuck the chin just to look down, keep the belly button in. Slowly lift the head to lengthen your neck, look forward, lift your shoulders and let them drop. Giving the legs a little shake. Thank you very much indeed, well done, thank you.